Hello and welcome to The Morgue, a Kickstarter indie horror game demo. And this is a non-funded project. Various glitches may occur. Let's get into it. Looking for a very... Can you hear me? Uh, I can only hope that you can. So listen up. Okay. When you emerge, go down the flight of stairs, and straight in front of you there will be a door that leads to the courtyard. Now inside of the bushes, I hid a radio transponder. Transponder. And talk to me, and I'll give you further instructions on how to get out of here alive. Out of where? Okay, where? Eden. I gotta get going. The professor's coming. Oh, the professor. What's that noise? Am I am I a body? Am I? Am what is this noise? That's weird. Whoa. What? Ugh. Well, that's a little weird, but hey, at least I got a heat uh, a heat lamp to keep me warm. My lizard man? I like my own portable fucking heat lamp. It's like the kind of shit you get. Oh, hold on, changing mess sensitivity. It's the kind of shit that your lizard would appreciate. Your your pet lizard or uh, your popcorn. I used to have a popcorn machine. Why are my hands like that? A am I am I am I a raptor? I'm always doing this. I am a human. I am not a raptor born in a human's body. I don't know. It, it definitely like if you walked around like this, like your hands. You, you know what I mean. My my character is a raptor trapped in a human body. We're gonna have to figure out what we want because we were reborn as a human, and we have to figure out what what professor did to us. Did he? Did he transplant a raptor's brain into my head in order for me to be a raptor human? It's a little... Hmm. This rug... This rug just sounds dirty. Like someone hasn't vacuumed it for a long time. I mean, I want you... Seriously, I want you all to picture my main character walking through this entire complex with his hands as they are, like you know, like a you know, a T Rex with his arms just, you know, stubbed out of the front. Very short, tiny, tiny arms. I want you to envision that the entire time. This elevator is for fright only. No, for freight. Not fright, my bad. I'm gonna run, this is getting a little boring. Ugh, I'm easily impatient. Thump, thump. Whose footsteps are these? <laughs> See, keep imagining, I'm still a T-Rex and the guy. <laughs> but seriously, what, what? Also, I I didn't want to see a picture of someone's rectum. Uh, as soon as I see this, all I think is goatsy. I don't ask why. It's just uh, all I see is uh, goatsy. I don't even know if I'm actually pronouncing it right or not. Is that how it's pronounced? I remember when I was referencing Bukaki to a friend of mine, and I originally called it butt cake. Butt cake? And he was laughing at me because I was pronouncing it wrong. I was like, oh, I, I didn't know it was Bukaki. So I'm just calling it Goatsy, hoping that I'm actually pronouncing it right. Because I used to call Bukaki butt cake. Because I thought it was butt cake, butt cake. Oh, look at all these giant rats. How adorable. I hope they don't have rabies. Ah, I am the T-Rex. Obey me. They're impersonating me. How dare you? I even take offense by your posture of imitating the T-Rex. I am the actual, legitimate T-Rex. Not you rats. Nothing else in this room other than the rats now. And my nose is itchy. Oh, okay. This is a really stupidly designed house. What? My character just knows what buttons to press on these um on these num keys and the upside down numbers. Or I fix these tubes. Sure, whatever. The freight train now works. But perhaps it is a freight. 
elevator. And there'll be tons of frightening things in this fright, fright elevator. Ah, uh, maybe. We will find out. Oh god, there's a hair in my eye now. Oh, or a hair tickling next to my eye. Any frights on this freight train? Freight, freight elevator? Maybe. Seriously, though. Ugh. God damn. I'm losing so much hair from stress. What? Okay. I'm losing so much hair that it's just like randomly I'll have a hair that just drops by and either s impales my eyeball or just tickles my nose. I hate that. It's like that feeling you get when you go to a hair cutter and they're cutting your hair and like hair starts, you know, tinkling down on your nose and it's just so fucking itchy. It makes it so scratchy, itchy, and just annoying, ticklish. I hate that so much. What am I doing? Okay. Oh no! Okay, it's still alive, it's breathing, it's just, it's just resting under the, again, a heat lamp. And bottles, big door. Okay, it's either go downstairs or to the heat lamps. Oh, this map. Okay. I'm so tiny. And I'm picturing myself as a tiny, dwarfed raptor human. But yeah, this map is the, the hospital map. It seems to be a default map that people seem to keep and just use as they wish. I already played the hospital, which is the first game that I had played, indie horror-wise. Do not activate! Oh, jeez, I wonder what I should do. Purple. Support us on Kickstarter. Yeah, I really shouldn't have clicked that button. Because that started the advertisements. I mean, I don't mean to be harsh to those who made uh, the morgue. Eh. I'm having trouble getting up these stairs. Is this game is? It's just using a royalty-free map, and they did nothing. Like, is this the end? Or did I come from this way? Hopefully there's more to this, because... Evil. Key? Okay, my... The immersion of horror in this game is broken. This game cannot scare me now. Nor will I suscept myself to be prepared to be scared. Fucking asking you to support on Kickstarter, that's... That's insulting, honestly, as I continue playing this game. Why is it insulting? This is, this is a map that's available to anyone. Other people have used this map. It's not unique. It, they didn't make it themselves. So it's just like you're shoving a map that you didn't create, adding a few assets that are, of course, also royalty-free vanilla assets that are just available to everyone, shoving them along and just making, you know, a scriptable path. Click this, go somewhere else, click this, event happens. But it's just so... I don't know, amateurly done? Like, I don't expect much if it's, like, the first time, but it's just... Asking you to support on Kickstarter? You want people to fucking pay you? For what work? You didn't even make this map! You didn't make anything! It's just... That's horrible! It's like what I keep ranting about on NDDB. It's like you have people that are wanting you to buy their game for two, five, ten bucks, and it's like, what work did you put into it? A few hours? A few days? Please. I, I don't know what else there is to do. There's this elevator. In the hospital, it led to the whole jump scare of the... Um, the jump scare of, like, the... the this face that had like no like flesh missing or something is pretty gross, honestly. But yeah, I, I picked up a key. Maybe it's to leave. Uh, maybe. Yep. Okay. We're right, moving on. I'm still extremely disappointed. Disappointed! It's just the balls to the balls to ask to support on Kickstarter. Kickstarter being a place to pay money. Does the continuation of development, it's just... I don't know, it's... 
it's just wrong. Am I going this way or? Apparently not. We're going this way. But I mean, uh, people like you see, you know what I mean, right? It, what did I turn on the lights for? It's just the. Uh, for me to for you to think that you, for people to pay and support a game that you're just putting pieces together. Uh, it's, like nothing of this is created. They they put this here and put a script to say click E to proceed. It's just ah, uh, just asking for money. It's, that that tilts me. That that rustles me pretty hard. So we're gonna continue and beat it anyways, just out of some kind of common decency. Well, I'm, I'm, I just sound, I'm disappointed. Kickstarter, come on! Am I going back to my fucking heat lamp room? Or are you gonna crash? Crashing elevators! Okay. I survived and I get a flashlight now. Well, at least this maybe looks custom, unless this is also pre-built in the hospital level that I just never explored here. But you already used that animation, and there's nothing in there, it's just hands. More disappointment, and a burlap sack. So you wrap around hedges and shit to keep them fucking warm during the winter. Not for bodies. It's a burlap s- well, actually wait, it wouldn't be a burlap sack. What the fuck is it even called? It's like what fucking Scarecrow had over his fucking head in the Batman movies. I don't even know what's called. I don't think it's burlap. I probably am using the wrong word. If I'm not, then I don't know. I I'd have to Google it up. I'm not a fucking expert on plants. I just know it's what used to be used on the hedges at my old home. All right, moving on. More rats. Are you breathing? No, poor thing. Dead rats. So it reminds me of uh, the Black Rose now. Okay, this computer's not working. Or is it? Nah, it's not working. Moving on then. Hmm. Eh, we'll go down this way first. I don't know. I'm just playing this to beat it. I, I, I don't know. If you would ask me why I... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed that it's probably just going to be really coming off in this video. I don't know, it's... There's like a side of me, there, there's like multiple sides to this, and it's just not me being an asshole. Hopefully people just don't see it that way. The part of me wants to beat it because I want to welcome a lot of indie horror games to experiment on. Another part of me is just completely disappointed and the immersion is broken. Another part of me is just... Hey, relax, guy. It's maybe the first game. Give him a break. What are, you, what are you doing? Why are you being so harsh? And the other part of me is, why am I continuing this? If I continue, it's just, it's going to convey in the video. It's just me ranting. It, this doesn't seem healthy. I, I shouldn't do it. So, I don't know. I'm sort of at conflict with myself. Should I continue and feel more disappointed? Or maybe wait for a chance to not be disappointed and get genuinely jump scared by something that isn't just, you know, none of these are working. I don't know, I, I want to be proven wrong, I guess I could say. I, I want this game to prove me wrong that it's not just fucking assets that the person didn't create and they just shoved everywhere. Okay, here's the first one. We're... Is it timed? Well, let's hope for the best. I'm gonna just rush Ed and touch all the computers, I think in succession. No! Oh no, don't tell me it's like in a specific order. That... Ah, jeez. More random footsteps. Russian text. This one's red now. 
Okay, now it's green. So the computers I must touch are no longer yellow, but they're red. Did I just... Okay, I swear I saw something, but whatever. So it wouldn't be this one. You're trying to delay me as long as possible, aren't you? It's either this room... It is. And then we had to go backwards. Nowhere. I'm sure it's also a pre-placed fucking asset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, these stairs are horrible. I'm just gonna click the other computer, go in the next room, and hope something new happens. If not, my I'm just stopping. Cause I, I don't know. But Kickstarter, really? I'm gonna go on about that. Fucking Kickstarter, really? Hi! Get my over, bitch! Great, now you fucked with my controls. Ugh. Back to the Fright Fright elevator. Oh no. So threatening, even though you touched me. Ow! Kickstarter, come on! We walk with love for our country. What? To honor our grannies and sons. Grannies and sons. We walk for an end Snowflake. of corruption. To the will of the people be done. Retro big computer Zoyoigo? Love for our country. What's with this music? To honor our grannies and sons. Interior environment. For an end to corruption, to the will of the people be done. Plants. We walk with love for our country. To I'm trying to hit the escape button. It's not doing anything. <sighs> Soundtrack. I'm sure this is maybe royalty free unless they sung it themselves. I I, I don't know. It's okay. I'll give you the the outro jump scare or the thing running down this hallway. Oh, never mind. I'm running down the hallway. Something bad has to happen, though. It has to be like, oh, this will scare them good. Make them want to pay for this game. I'm going to generally... I'm, I'm going to check the Kickstarter just to see if they did expect money. I mean, you don't go on Kickstarter for any other reason except to ask money to help fund development. But asking for development when you didn't make a lot of the assets, to me, that... Ugh, it's just bugging me. Ah, oh, so much. Okay, what's sitting on the chair? It's me? The the corpse thing? A floating chair. And hands. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna check the website Kickstarter out and post pictures when I edit this just so people I guess can see what it was that was on it oh god something's in my eye god damn go to show what's on the Kickstarter just so people can I guess see what the what it was being asked of this game maybe hopefully something humble hopefully it's not like fifty thousand dollars you know like something outrageous but sorry if I sounded like an ass to the developers developers of this game I I don't know, it's just fucking Kickstarter and you advertise it in the game itself? What? What? No! Don't! Don't all that. I hope you enjoyed my ranting in this not scary adventure game. Arr, I'm angry. But beyond all that, I hope you enjoyed it, dude. If you enjoyed my ranting, that is, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Girl, I'm angry. Until the next time. Arr. Wait, what? Uh, are you drugs? Hi! Drugs here? Oh, that's an arm. That's... 